I mean, can you give us a little more information? I mean, it's no secret that this is Deanna Perrazzo's last match in Rise. She announced earlier, we heard from her. So, does that mean you're scouting Kylie Ray? This is Deanna's last match. This is Deanna's farewell. You know, Deanna, after this, she's going to be done, and she can choose anybody for her last match, and she chose Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray of all people. So it sounds like you're a little offended. Do you want to wrestle Deanna? I don't want to wrestle Deanna. Deanna should want to wrestle me. I have the championship. Yeah, but Kylie Ray and Deanna Perrazzo had a fantastic match on Rise 6. So this I'm would sure be they did, Lexi. I'm sure their match was absolutely fantastic. But it is nothing compared to anything that I've done in that ring. Deanna, in my opinion, is a little bit bland. Some strong words from uh, Tessa over here. What about Kylie? You think she's bland? No, Kylie, she's entertaining. Look at her, she's cute, she's happy-go-lucky, she has spirit, she's promising. And you know what? Maybe this match will be entertaining. But like I said, I am the champion here at Rise, and everybody should want to face me. I should have my pick of the lot. And so for Deanna to choose Kylie, this is just laughable to me. I had to be out here to see it myself firsthand. So I guess my question is, if Deanna wanted to challenge you for your championship, would you have put it on the line tonight? I am a fighting champion, Sienna. I am a fighting champion. I'm the most versatile champion that Rise has ever seen. And you know what that means? That I'll face anyone, any style, any shape, any size, even if that means the bland Deanna Perrazzo. I think her, uh, I think her moniker is Virtuosa. Is that it? I'm, I'm not quite sure. No, it's definitely virtuoso. I don't think I've ever heard the word bland and Deanna Perrazzo in the same sentence until right now. I mean, technically, look at her. She's sound. Unfortunately, that's about as far as it goes. I mean, what about that arm bar, though? I mean, she is the Fujiwara arm bar especially. She's already working that arm on Kylie Ray. Going for it right off the bat. I mean, you have to appreciate that, right? You're Were you talking yourself. to me, Sienna? Were you talking? I'm trying to focus on look, the Look, if you're going to be out here on commentary, you're going to listen to what the hell I say. You get it? Fancy little footwork by Kylie Ray there. Working on Deanna's arm herself. Have you ever been in the Fujiwara armbar, Tessa? And you know what, I've gotten out of it as well. I faced Deanna before, and you know what, I've beaten Deanna before, plenty times. Has Deanna ever beaten you though? Deanna, back to the match. All right, back to the match then. Now we want to watch the match. Kylie's already going for a quick pin on Deanna. Well, Tessa, how about Kylie Ray? Have you ever faced Kylie Ray? And what and what do you? Uh, I mean, how did you fare against her, Kylie Ray? Kylie Ray is one of my most favorite opponents. You know, I, I love seeing how happy she is when she's in the ring. You know, she turns into a completely different person. It's like this is her dream, right? Professional wrestling is her dream, and I love getting in there and making her dreams just shatter. I love it. Well, that escalated quickly. I, yeah, I really thought she was being nice there for a minute, but not. Okay. Don't talk about me when I'm right next to you, ladies. I mean, that's what I'm out here for. That's what I got to do, you know? We're going to talk about Kylie. We're going to talk about Deanna. And we're going to talk about you. <sighs> well, I will say that you did just come off a really big win against Madison Rain. The last episode, episode 9, Are Rise of Sense. surprised? Um, I mean, Madison... I still think she's gotten too fast on you, am I mistaken? You know what, Sienna? Yeah, that's what I thought. You know what, Sienna? Both of those were a fool. You know what, when I get in there with Madison Rain, that was me, I beat her clean, fair and square. You know why? Because I am the better opponent. She's strong, she's fast, she's quick, she's promising, but she is no Tessa Blanchard. I mean, that's true. Nobody, nobody is Tessa Blanchard except Tessa Blanchard. That is undeniable. Episode 9, you were the better woman. I will give you that. You are still the champion. I will give you that. Every episode, I'm the better woman, Sienna. I am the champion. Even the episodes where you're not wrestling? Exactly. Okay. So you're the better woman in this match, too. You said it, not me. Okay, so back to some in-ring action. I feel like I could have taken a bathroom break there. <laughs> Sorry wow, about that, Lexi. That's okay. You guys had a little bit of a heated conversation, and I understand that that happens sometimes. So, uh, but back to the action. I, I can't pick a winner for this match. Uh, they're both going head to head and exchanging holds and going for pinfalls, and we weren't talking about any of it, but it's, 
it has been entertaining. I mean, we saw it. I was watching. Kylie looked like she almost ripped Deanna's arm out of the socket. I like this. They're going arm for arm. Arm for arm. Why don't you get in there, Tessa? Make it a triple threat. Why don't you put your belt on the line? It would be way too easy, Sienna. It would you be see, easy? I have the championship. That means that I'm the best here at Rise. Okay, so if these girls want to compare themselves to me, want to challenge, th challenge me, want to compare themselves to me, then they can start at the bottom of my shoes. Tessa, I must say, you are very sure of yourself. I, you know, I, and I can admire that. There are those chops and, and strikes that I love. That you love to receive. <laughs> Back to that arm. I mean, honestly, I feel like we're kind of at a disadvantage here because it's our job to call this match and we can't really do it because Tessa's out here distracting us. Distracting you? Yeah, distracting I mean... I wanted to sit here and I wanted to watch Gianna in her farewell match before she goes on to her future endeavors, before she's out of our lives for good. And you know what? You sat here and you're picking a bone with me. So this is your fault, Sienna. This is not my fault. This is your fault. I mean, you are on my turf right now, okay? You might be the champion, but this is my table. This is my mic. So you want to be here. I will pick whatever bones I want. You know what? You're getting this escalated really quickly. You're getting a little bit aggressive, Sienna. A little bit aggressive. I'm going to have to put you both in timeout and go back to this match. Deanna really working that arm. She's going for a pin. I, I don't know. I think I would have actually gone for the arm bar there and see if I could get the submission instead of going for a pinfall. But require using your brain and thinking. I mean, both these ladies have been using, they've both been going for each other's arms this whole match. I mean, Kylie Ray has a good strategy here. She knows that's what Deanna's going for. This match has gone on way too long. I would have had this beat. I would have had this one already. Okay, don't interrupt me again because I was in mid-sentence. Anyway, what was I saying, Lexi? That Kylie Ray has a good strategy. She knows that Deanna's going for the arm, so she's going for the arm too. She now, right now she's going for the face. Kylie Ray going up top for something, but was cut off. Let's see what Deanna has in mind. Yeah, this is not going to end well for either of them. Or maybe I'm wrong. Kylie is not looking too smiley right now. Nice missile drop Super kick aggressive. on the top. Both wrestlers down. Let's see who can get to their feet first. Ref starting the count. Which one of these ladies is getting to their feet first? Who do you think, Tessa? Yawn. Now that's just blatant disrespect. I'm not disrespectful, Sienna. You're being disrespectful. Well, I think it's going to be Deanna because she looks like she's already up. I'm very confident in Deanna, Sienna. I mean, I've seen her. I have, I have been calling her matches for a few episodes now, quite a few. Neither wrestler seems to have the advantage right now, though. Huge kicks, it's almost like there's almost nothing to say about it. You just have to watch up, it. Up. She got the arm. arm. She's got the arm. Is it locked in, Lexi? It looks locked into me. I don't think Kylie can hold on. This isn't over. Kylie will get out of it. Yeah, lucky guess on that one. However, I will give it to Kylie. She used her ring positioning there. She knew where she was. She used her feet. She got to the ropes and got out of that arm bar. It was almost too late. Deanna going for a power move. She needs to go back to that arm bar. These ladies are giving you a main event's worth. 
I thought Kylie, oh, here's the pin. There's, There's the pin the I was pin. looking for. And only a two. Yeah, if I were Gianna, I'd get right back on that arm immediately, as soon as I could. But it looks like she might have had the wind knocked out of her. I mean, that. both of them, they need to capitalize. You know, Kylie is like, she's mustering up all the energy she has left, but she needs to stay on Gianna. Yeah, she needed to go right for a move right there. Anything she could have. So when Deanna wins, are you going to go shake her hand, Tessa? I am not shaking Deanna's hand. In order to shake her hand, I would have to respect her, Sienna. Look at that arm bar. Respect that arm bar. Kylie rolled out of it. Oh. Has her in a submission of her own. She got it locked in. She got it locked in. Deanna's good. She just wasn't good enough. She hasn't tapped out yet. Oh, she almost turned that into a pin. Kylie rolled right through, and that's it. And she tapped out. Kylie Ray comes out on top. I am so mad that, that you were right, Tessa. Kevin Harvey bringing out some flowers. How adorable. That is very nice. You know, not all places of employment appreciate you on your way out. So that is a very nice gesture there. Thank you, Deanna Perrazzo, for everything you have done, including your rise. You will be missed, but I'm sure we will see you again. And getting a virtuosa chant, that's awesome.